Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called gravitation. Let me read out the problem first. The problem is like this. There are three equal masses, each of mass m, placed at the three corners of a equilateral triangle of side A. What is the force experienced by this system on another particle of mass m placed at the midpoint of any one side? That's what the problem is. Let us try to visualize the problem first. The problem is given like this. There is an equilateral triangle. At each corner of this equilateral triangle, a mass m is placed. Each side of the equilateral triangle is A. Now he is saying that I am keeping another mass m at the midpoint of the side what is the force experienced by that one that's the question that we have right now on this mass who is kept at the midpoint i need to calculate the force let us identify what are the forces acting on the fourth mass. Gravitational force is always attractive, you know. Therefore, on this mass, this mass applies a gravitational force, F1. This mass also applies a gravitational force and try to pull it towards it, F2. This mass also applies this mass. Another gravitational force F3. So there are three forces acting. This is being a midpoint becomes A by 2. This becomes A by 2. So I would like to say F1 is equal to F2. Why they are equal? Because the masses are equal. The separation is equal. How much is that? G M1 M2 by A by 2 whole square. And F1 is opposite to F2. They are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction and hence F1 cancels F2. Therefore, I need not bother about F1 and F2. There is only one third force acting that is nothing but equal to F3. So, the only force acting on mass m at the midpoint of the side is nothing but equal to F3. What is that F3? I can calculate G. This is one mass and this is one more mass m1 m2 by this distance i don't know the distance x square so if i have to solve the problem i need to know the value of that x so i know this is a equilateral triangle so this side is 60 degree x is the opposite side a by 2 is the adjacent side then i can write a tan 60 in that right angle triangle tan 60 is opposite side by adjacent side we know tan 60 is root 3 that is 2x by a that implies x equal to root 3 a by 2 substituting this value of the x will make the force f as that implies The total force on 
fourth mass is F3 equal to that is F equal to G M1 M2 by X square. X is root 3 by A2 whole square. So how much is this? G M square 3A square by 4. So the answer is 4 by 3 g m square by a square is the resultant force acting on this particle who is placed at the midpoint of an equilateral triangle society thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you